we were just completely amazed at the enthusiasm of the staff, the way that they really wanted to engage with the boys even at an open evening. We kind of came away from the open evening thinking, well, this is all we need from a school because it had incredible facilities. Uh, the staff seemed to be really inspiring and wanting to do what they were doing and doing it in a very engaging and interesting way. I've got no issues inviting a guest to walk around our school at any time, whether it's break, lunch, you know, things I would never have done in a previous, in a previous school. After I left, went to college, university and decided I wanted to be a teacher, as soon as I decided I wanted to be a teacher, there was only one place I wanted to work and that was Rokeby. I, I know they're doing, as a governor and as a parent, I know they're doing a hell of a lot. Um, and this is why my son is still here. So you need that sort of triangle of like home, school and the student, that communication. Um, so that's where the success lies. They're very supportive. Like, because when I'm in class, they help me a lot. Even, even though I want to give up sometimes, they'll just say, don't give up, I can do it. There's a lovely atmosphere. They're not si walking around in silent. They're not robots. There's, it's a, like a family feeling. I think that that's rare. I don't think you get that in all places. I have the highest expectations of the boys. I expect them to behave in a way that their family would be proud of. And when their family aren't here, I'm here. Yeah, we, we are a family. We look out for each other. We have boys coming to school at 7 o'clock. The minute the gate opens in the morning at 7 o'clock, there are boys there coming in. And they stream into the school between 7 and 7.30. By 7.30, we've got several hundred boys here. I know personally the school is outstanding. Um, from teaching and learning to behaviour to everything around it. If the teacher pushes you in school, then it motivates the student. They know that they have to, they have the potential inside them. So this school's all about giving children the hope. You know what? I actually think it's a really, really nice school. I remember when I first came to see it, I was, wow. What I love about Rokeby School is that they are so committed with additional classes to help, not that the fact that your child could be struggling, is to help them succeed. We have games clubs before school, we have library open before school, homework club, a whole range of different things that they can take part in. It's a holistic community where every child, every child matters. The boys can talk to staff about anything. We're all together in this. We, we're all united. If you don't we speak English, like, they give, they take some other person that can help you. Generally, there's a sense of everyone working together for the benefit of the students. We're always introducing new opportunities, new reasons for people to, you know, get involved with the rugby community. You really get a sense of family and community in the school, which is really, really nice. This community here, it's a very big community and a very tight community. You never feel alone, never feel alone here. My boys also attend Rokeby School as well. They are in year eight, twins. When I come in through these gates, I am a mother to over 800 other boys. If the teacher was, was just here and saying, OK, yeah, I'm just here to do my job and this and that, it's not going to work out. And none of the teachers here, they, say, they don't say that. I expect them to push themselves at all times. And I expect them to want to be better at everything they do. I want them to leave here and I want them to be the success stories of the future. It's a full education, it's a life education, it's not just in terms of getting the best grades they possibly can. And I think by the time they leave here, they are so well equipped for the rest of their lives. Even academics is good, but academics is not the key to everything. What you want to do in the education system is to produce a child that is able to live out there in the real world. There's no, there's no bullying in the school because everyone knows that the consequences is, is, is severe. This school is like a family. Their goal is to make us achieve our goal. That's how it is. We care for each other. We look out for each other. We're proud of our school. Which is why um, rugby is such a great place, because nobody's going to think you're stupid. Nobody's going to bully you. They let you express who you are. I brought them here because they would be looked after. And the staff here, I know how much the staff care about all of the boys. Those students, they won't be hungry students and they won't be students that aren't loved, they won't be students that aren't cared for um, because I think that's what this place does provide for them. They want to come in, they feel safe in the building, there's activities, we give them a free breakfast. So there's a free breakfast for anybody who wants it every day of the year. 
So we've got four student leaders at the moment who represent our school. A student leadership sort of just pushing students that, sh that demonstrate leadership qualities or even have just an inclination towards it. What they should be are role models around the school. All the student leaders should be role models around the school. Because every time I walk around and people are like, you inspire me to do more, to be more and become more, that's, that's something that I really appreciate. And that's something that being student leader reflects. They can't be prouder of the school and we can't be prouder of them at the moment. There seems to be a shared vision in the school where pupils need to succeed, pupils need to progress. Success is, is celebrated. They want us to success, they want us to get the A star grades in this school. In every lesson we instill um, a passion for learning, we make sure that the learning environment is harmonious, they're respectful to one another. They can be our teacher and they can be, they can be our friend. Like they'll make you laugh, like Mr. Ockham, like you'll be like passion for football and stuff. The ethos really is on caring. Brokerby is open to all ideas. Anything that can prove to be effective, they will try it. We have an intervention type table where people come after school or lunchtime or before school to like uh, get extra help. So it really shows that they care. We have a child that is in a wheelchair and the school has tailored his coming in till he leaves the school at 3.15, all the resources he needs to make him comfortable to learn is put in place. But coming to Roteby, he was introduced to the dance teacher here, and it just turned everything around for him. We don't talk about it every day, all day, but exam results are important, and to make sure that the boys get the best exam results possible so they can go on and do as well as they can in their life. And when he leaves Roteby, Depending on his GCSEs, he will be full-time at the national school and his future is set. And that's all from coming here. That's the incredible thing. That's the incredible story. That's the word. Opportunities. That's what's been amazing about rugby. I've never been somewhere in my life where there's so many opportunities for you to, like I said, do more, be more, and become more. Around our school we have like posters, integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching and I think that's important because like, you, you should always be doing the right thing no matter who's there, no matter who's around. Anything has become possible um, because the staff are incredibly supportive. A boy last year came from Italy, via, um, originally from Bangladesh, so he spoke Italian and Bengali. English was his third language. He spent nearly two years at Rokeby and he left with 11 A's and A stars, five A stars and he hardly spoke English at the end of year nine. Now that's progress.